Hello there, my name is Eve, Adam's second wife. Actually, he prefers to call me Evie. And to make a long story short, now it is my turn to deal with Adam. It is still a world before metamorphoses, still a time before change or development begins, and life still is eternally good. It is paradise not yet lost, the golden age of innocence. We can do no wrong, and a merciful deity stands ready to satisfy our every desire. First was the golden age when all were content. Food came of itself, no need to pay rent. Spring was everlasting, there was no fall. Then did milk and sweet nectar flow for all. But a woman cannot stand being less than herself, however briefly. No sooner was I given everything without the need to do anything on my own, then I too defied the giver of all things. Adam followed my example, and it cost us our special connection to God. From this brief paradise now, we are fallen forever. Since then, our anxiety, our despair, is that each of us is alone in the world and must fend for himself. You see, Adam takes this full business very seriously, very personally. He feels that God is simply too busy to notice him. As for myself, I manage not to pay too much attention, what with housekeeping and cooking. Adam, however, occupied as he is with the unfolding of the lower worlds, feels much more the loneliness of being abandoned to his task with little support and guidance from his mentor. Adam thinks the world of emotional connection is closed to him, so he plugs himself into another circuit, one which he feels nourishes him. Minister to a mind diseased Pluck from the memory a rooted sorrow Raise out the written troubles of the brain And with some oblivious antidote cleanse the full bosom of that perilous stuff which weighs upon the heart minister center descending point universal axis of the world the point world of chaos left to be light and it was like the expanding light filling the void of the expanding space of the universe flame with the issuing force with the like a fun point supreme center of the universe heart of everything supernal point on high innermost origin in center descending point universal axis of the world the point world of
Form of comparative principle of spirit, the principle of actual perfection being the natural geometrical symbolism of emanation, therefore these two aspects of an instead of matter. <laughs> For as mother will be relation, while things are totally spiritual, appearing distinct, not yet sink, like the light beyond the present, on the present, myriad of here, very pure, myriad of here, of here, of here, of here, very pure and imperceptible, and I like substantial generation, is nowhere, 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 to cloud the solar rays hidden between a sphere whose center is everywhere, and her circle, a sphere whose center is everywhere, and her circumstance is nowhere, whose sphere whose center is everywhere. Causal point, supreme center of the universe, heart of everything, supernal point, point on high, innermost origin, hidden center, descending point, universal axis of the world of points, world of chaos, let there be light, let there be light, let there be light, expanding light, filling the void. Of expanding space, of the innermost flame, vision of the point, supreme center of the universe, heart of everything, supernal point, not high, in innermost origin, in its center, descending point, universal axis, the world of point, world of chaos, let there be light. No color at all. Beyond this point, nothing is known. Nothing is known. It is only the beginning. The beginning. Origin. Fog star get a flame like a fog forming within the unformed springs forth from the well. No color at all beyond this point. Nothing is known. It is called beginning origin. Well, okay, after all this business with the equipment, we finally get started. Okay, now, I am a room. I'm a room. I'm, uh, well, actually, you see me kind of through a rectangle, so I look kind of more square than I usually think of myself this way. <laughs> I'm usually not so square. I'm usually pretty far out, but okay. So, what we got here? Now, I'm a room, a small room, and inside me... Apparently, at this moment, there are some furniture pieces, and um, there's a couple of people. Mm. And, um, well, I'm an expressive room. I um, have lots of colors, you know. I have um, highlights. And I have some low colors also. So, I'm a room. I keep coming back to that point. I'm getting used to the idea, little by little, and I'm in this neighborhood. Outside, it looks like it might be nighttime. So, yeah, there's a little, there's light inside. I have some light in me. No? Look at this. I have some light. Now, I don't see any lamp, so perhaps it's, I don't know where the light's coming from. But uh, I have uh, a moderate amount of light. It seems to be located mostly in one of my corners. Well, I wonder where that light is coming from. But, um, now, something about my colors. <clears throat> I notice I have a lot of red in me, a lot of red. I'm a floor, and I have a certain amount of green in me and a certain amount of gray. That's mostly in my walls are gray, and my floor, what a floor. <laughs> Get a low to my floor. I mean, you know... Wow, look at that. Is that dirt or is that just paint? Hmm.
I hear some background noise. Like the neighbor flushing a toilet or something? Well, I guess in Russia they had toilets. So, okay, so I am a room and next door to me is a toilet. Inside of me is some, some, some very, mm, maybe kind of special divine light or something. But next door is a toilet. And that's, that's life, isn't it? I already had an insight. Yep, I'm a special room, I guess, because I have a light inside of me. And uh, the toilet, even though the toilet is next door, it doesn't seem to phase me very much. I go on about being my special light. Now, what about this floor? Let's see if I can get into being my floor. My floor is the bottom. Tis, tis. Tis, 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 tis. I am a red floor and I resonate because I have so much color. I am loaded with color. I resonate and I'm loaded with color. Why, you can walk all over me and dance on me and I just come right into your feet. Really, I motivate you. Just look at these people. People, look at that. I'm giving you the energy really a hype up floor. It's like that. I can go on forever, you know. I'm that kind of a floor. Well, to make a long story short, <laughs> gee, well, let's see. So if I'm a floor, very red, very red, and my voice is very deep, and uh, mellow, mellow floor, I'm a deep red floor. I mean, even considering I'm such a small space, I managed a lot of resonance. I mean, you were here. That kind of a floor. Digging for experience. I resonate. I really fill up this little room. I can resonate like this little. I can resonate. I can resonate. This little hole in Brooklyn, I can resonate in a little room in Brooklyn. You hear that resonance? Well, so anyway, that's the floor. That's the floor. So like I said, I'm a room and all this stuff is happening inside me. But I gotta confess, sometimes just being a room that somebody once painted gets to be pretty boring. Like look at those walls. My walls, man, they're just gray. And my ceiling, you can't see it, but it's just as well it's hidden. It doesn't look like it's very interesting at all. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for my floor, if it wasn't for you, floor, people wouldn't even know I'm here. I'd be just like every other room and every other building in the whole world. Just look around at the rest of me, and boy, if it wasn't for you, Floor, if it wasn't for those moments where you get this, <laughs> this, <laughs> whoo, this stuff going on, and you know, you just, mm, I'd get kind of depressed. Now, so let's have a, I mean, I don't really, you know, I don't really relate too well to the rest of you, Room. Let me tell you, I mean, I'm the floor, and I'm just like I'm special here. I'm really special. But it's nice hearing some of that appreciation from you every once in a while. You know, just being gray and, boy, I can't even see my... If I'm a wall here and I'm a ceiling, I look just like, like outside, like the rest of that toilet out there. So I have to kind of keep in touch with that red floor. And when the music stops, yeah, it's a bummer. You know, Lynn's in France, got herself a new boyfriend, and uh, oh, got no job, 50 years old, etc., etc. You know, no kids, the whole scene, right? Like gray walls and a tiny old furnished room in Brooklyn, 275 a month. The landlord wants me out of here. Got a neighbor next door, hears every word. That's why I talk so soft, you know. So anyway. So I'm these walls and this ceiling. I'm 
I'm Bray. No, that's not my music at all. I don't have any music at all. I'm just a... I'm just a verbal... Just words. Let's see now. I don't even have any resonance either. So I'll turn off that resonance stuff. I don't have any effects at all. Let's see. Testing. Ah, now you see, that's it. A little room, no effects. No effects at all. Just a room. I'm just four gray walls and a ceiling, and I don't have... I don't even sound... I don't even have a low voice. I have just an ordinary voice. Yep. Testing, testing, testing. Hello, so it's Franklin. Franklin here in the room talking. I got to talk. I can't talk loud because I don't want the neighbors to think I'm nuts here. But, you know, I'm here in this room, and I got, well, I just got towels hanging there, and I haven't done my laundry, and I don't know how long, just me and these four walls, and, <sighs> and life goes on somehow, despite the fact that I'm 50 years old with no kids, and Lynn's in France, and I'm alone, and nobody wants to work with me. God, three months, five months a year on the advertising. Nobody wants to do gestalt process except me. Finally, I'll do it. All right, so, so maybe something will come of it anyway. So, like, it's a bummer. Now, hmm. But I got this other side. Man, ha-ho-ho, <laughs> that's my secret. That's your secret, huh, Floor? Like it's me and you, Floor. Now, I'm not like you at all, but I'm sure glad you're around. If it weren't for you as a foundation to stand on, man, hmm, I'd be a sad scene. My life, my existence... Okay, that's me, you know, that's my gray side. Gray side, okay? So now, I'm sure glad you're around, red side. I mean, you drive me nuts. I have nothing to show for my life except for this equipment right now. Like you're there, right? So I'm giving you a lot, boy. That divine soul or whatever it is, that craziness, I've given it to you. All right, now, what do I want from you? If we're going to have a relationship, well, i got to have some objectives here. Well, let's see now. What do I want from you? I want from you... Hmm. Well... Maybe, maybe at this point I want a little bit of consideration, huh? So we can maybe uh, ha make some, some, some harmony here. I mean, set up a little bit of a life so I can at least I can hang on to my equipment and I'll be able to go on, right? So give me a little break, huh? So let's work together and have a little par bit of a bit of parnasa, a little bit of making a living, a little bit of. On the other hand, don't worry, you'll still get most of the time, most of the energy, right? Okay, well. Well, so I am the floor, the red, loaded with vitality. I am your wonderful spiritual side, your guru. I am your meshikas, your insane stuff. Yep. <laughs> Well, yeah, so actually, so Papa was the bourgeoisie again, Papa was not, right? So, right? So you see, it's possible that the two be together, and Mama's, uh, Mama's a very spiritual person, and, uh, and she's got, you know, she's also the musical side. Well, so we don't have to be that far apart, you know? We have a life together. As long as you understand that I am running the show, or else... I am running the show, or else... So testing, there we go. I am running the show, or else, there. And now I get my true dimensions. You'd better watch out. That's even more. I can drive you bananas, Wetner. So watch out. In fact, I can even overload your equipment. I'm so nasty. But... You know, we get along. I usually play the game and we integrate, right? So like a little bit of me and a little bit of you, a little bit of yours, will make a musical compromise. Now, so in this room, inside of me are people. And the people, there's a woman and there's a man, okay? Now, the man and the woman, hmm. The man is in the air, right? Look at that. He's floating in the air. In that case, there must be some air inside of me, if I'm the room. Air. 
air. I have air. I'm a room with air in it. This air is kind of special. The air inside of me is something special. Look at that. That guy could just float in that air. Let's see what the air has to say. Okay? I'm, I'm the air. I'm all over the place. I'm here and I'm there. In this corner, and, this and I'm in that corner, and I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere in the room. I fill you up, room. I'm in you all. I'm in all. All, all the corners. I'm in the high corners. I'm in the low corners. I'm, I'm next to that. I'm next to that floor. When I'm near the floor, man, I really get chromatic. I get, I get, I get very turned on near the floor. Very, very turned on near the near the floor. Pretty sick, sick, pretty evil. Me, know what I mean? My seamy, my seamy side. And I got my seamy, and I got my seamy side. Pretty. Can be pretty fucked up. Tell you, let me tell you. And when I get near that red stuff, when I get near that red stuff, I just go bananas. I get near that red stuff. I just go bananas. Bananas. Red stuff. I squeeze up these muscles. And I get into this. And I get into that. And I get into that. Too. I get into this. And I get into that too. Let me tell you, I got into most of it the last 50 years. Ho, 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 ho. It's been one hell of a time. I can tell you stories you wouldn't believe. Ha, I've been all over the fucking place. Well, not quite. I mean, I didn't wreck myself too much like Roger did or a lot of other people. Thank God I didn't get AIDS and all that stuff. But, oh, I had Ain't my fleet. I'm the red I'm not I'm not the floor. I'm not stable. I'm just in the air. I'm just floating in the I do what if I let it get to me. I don't have any obligation to have a form. I can just do what I like when I'm here. I'm in the air. All over the place. If I want to get to get intoxicated, well, nothing holds me back. I'm in the air. Can't even put your finger on me. I'll slip out away from you. Yeah. yeah, put that in yeah. your pipe. Put that in your pipe. Smoke it. Oh, yeah. See that, Papa? All your lessons and moralizing didn't do any good at all. I'm a rake and I'm in progress. Yeah, a rake in progress. <laughs> Let's soup up this air voice a little bit, I think. Let's see now. How can okay. I soup up the air voice? Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, look, 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 looking for this voice, looking for this voice. It's hard to find a voice for the because I voice for the air. It's really air, because I mean, every time I want to find a voice, it slips away. It's in your own voice. I think I mean, it's not just you, we all I want it, I want it to be something low, but I can't quite put my finger on the voice. Not this one. Is that the voice? Is that the voice? Or Miles Davis? It's me. I'm flying. That's that voice. Not me. That's just the shell. The shell. That's just the shell. That's just the shell. But it's like I'm the chaos. I'm the chaos. I am 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 the chaos. If it wasn't for you, Room, I'd be you, I'd be God, I'd be God. Room, hold me, hold me in here. Hold me, hold me, hold me. I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm on my flight, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying. Okay, now look, that's enough. Now I see you're going bananas in there, so I turn you off. Ha <laughs> ha, phew, just think that you're in there all the time inside of me. Wow, no wonder it's so hard being in this room. I am Franklin. Ephraim? Franklin? I don't know. Well, that's part of it. That's you again, your influence, right? I don't know who I am. And inside of me is this air.
there. Or maybe it's holy ether. Maybe it's uh, Mexican jumping bees. I don't know. Pretty wild stuff, huh? And I walk around looking cool and collected to the world. They think I'm some kind of an intellectual or something like that, right? Or, well, well but actually most of them think I'm nuts anyway. So you think I, you're the one that speaks anyway, right? You get through, right? But I mean, at least people don't know. They feel like the landlord here. I walked up to this. I walked up to the landlord with this keeper and this and this white shirt. You know, <laughs> he says, "Oh, good. Take the room here. Yeah." He thinks he's got a bourgeoisie, and lo and behold, look what happened. I blew his house apart. Yeah, well, well, you blew his house apart. I mean, I just got the room, but I mean, it's, well, <laughs> it's not like I fooled the guy. I mean, like, I don't know what's going to happen. How do I know what you're going to do next? I don't know what you're going to do next. Sometimes you drive me bananas all summer. I didn't know what you're going to do next. I mean, what the? Well, so I'm this room. I'm the, I'm the whole room with the walls and the floor and everything. And inside of me is this air, this ether, or this Mexican jumping bean stuff. And, and it's like entropy, you know? It just wants to go all over the place. And I am, I have the job of keeping you together, air. I keep you together. You know? I keep you square. That's it. You're square. You're here, and you're, that's it. You can only do so much. I mean, if you want to have a little curly cue, you can have that. And you can make music here and there. You can do, well, you can do stuff like... But as long as I'm running the show, and I... That's not very often, I realize. But as long as I'm running the show, you're a pretty straight guy. I keep you in a box. And that makes the two of us a jack-in-the-box. Because when the box breaks, whoop! There you go again. I'm not going to let you go now. Now you're under control. So that's the kind of world. Now, look at these people inside of me. Look at that. It's like they're trying to deal with both of us. I mean, like, well, hmm? I mean, look at them. From, I look at them from the outside. And I mean, I mean, I'm not them. I look at them from the outside. And, well, there's, on the one hand, it's a man and a woman. I mean, it's not like Matisse and all over the place and that kind of stuff. I mean, they're not Matisse. Or, or who are those people that paint all over the place, you know? Just like colors and everything. But these people have forms. These are, there's a man and a woman, you know? There's a woman and that's, um, you know, like she's got the flowers and she's doing her female stuff, right? And... Um, there's a guy. Looks like a guy, at least. <laughs> he looks sort of like a guy. He doesn't have any arms or anything, but still, it's like a man. Like, and he's here to say hello. Or maybe he's her husband or a boyfriend or something. But um, basically, you know, he's um, a man. He's like, um, no, he's got a deep... He's a man doing his thing, you know? The man. Okay, the man, stop, a man. Just a man and a woman in a room. Nothing special, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there's a lot of people who wrote about this stuff already, but... Okay, well, let's go on. So, it's about, um, it's about the air, and it's about the floor. Like, uh, that's the, the motor. And the rest of us watch and wait for those moments, huh? Sometimes they come, and sometimes we settle down to... <laughs> humdrum existence that just go on and on and on and I sit here and I practice and I think about getting gigs and oh but then the moments come and I write my music and I do my fiery creative stuff and uh, I suppose I'm not as fiery as I used to be but I still hope there'll be these moments of fire <laughs> fire burning 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 a shtetl that burns just a, a life that, a life that's on fire there's something to that a life on fire a life on fire well anyway let's see what these people have to say okay fine so now I am a woman I am in a house in a room and I'm putting flowers somewhere. I'm not quite sure where because actually if you look at the table there, it doesn't make too much sense. But all right, I'm putting stuff maybe in that cup. I don't know. Maybe I don't see where I'll put the flowers. But anyway, so I'm busy putting flowers somewhere. I'm wearing a black, my new dress outfit and white. I look kind of conventional, right? 
my hair is curled, I must look like a people used to look in those days, right? Maybe 19, uh, no, actually this is, yeah, 1900 in Russia, right, something like that. Small town, and uh, there's this man here, and of course I like this guy, I don't know, maybe he's my husband, maybe he's my boyfriend, and I see he's really freaked out. I mean, like, I'm floating too, but this guy is nuts. I mean, look at him, wow, look at him go, I don't mind, I mean, I get kind of caught up in his energy, you know, like, Ah, it's partly the room, of course, the colors, you know, they're so bright. That red, wow, and oh, look at the watermelon, look at those pits, look at that red pits. Well, you know, red furniture, I gotta have the flower. And look at that pillow, my pillow, how do you like my furniture, stuff like that. I mean, I bought all this shit, you know, I look at this, excuse me, I shouldn't say stuff like that, I'm really a very nice person, I bought these, this is, this furniture, I bought that red table, and I bought that red, I painted the floor red, or I had somebody do it, and I, uh, that's my red uh, pillow, and that's my red uh, bed, bed, uh, what do you call it, blanket or something, so I guess I like red, huh? I guess I have that red side, but look at my outfit. I'm black, white, stum, just so, like, I put it into the walls, you know. I put it into the air around me. And he comes in and wow, you know, he sees me and he knows from the room, he would never guess it from me, but from the room, what he knows what's going on here. Maybe that's what's going on, huh? So what do I want from him? I want, I don't know what the story is because I'm black and white and ordinary, and I don't know, I like, I like this guy. That's what I like about this guy. Like he really lets it hit him. He lets himself go bananas and I love to go along for the ride. I sure do, man. When I get into bed, ho, 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 ho. I mean, I myself, you know, I don't, you would never guess it. <laughs> I look kind of ordinary, but well, when this guy just gives me an excuse, you know, like it just, he gets me started, you know, and I just, oh man, I don't stop. I just don't stop. I mean, like, wow. I don't stop. I don't stop. I really groove. I groove. I mean, like, here it is, you know, like, I'm at his place, sometimes at my place. I like, what, do I, what if I was at his place? And it doesn't take long to get started. <laughs> I just walk in, and he, he comes over, and I just, <laughs> I let it happen, you know. I just, I just let it happen. I go along. I know what he wants, and what he wants is, I guess, what I want. I mean, I don't know, but I mean, I just feel it's like that air, you know, in the room, and I just go along with it, just, oh, oh there he goes, he's starting it, he's coming, oh, 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 God, oh, he's giving me an excuse, I don't have to be black and white, thank you so much, I don't have to be black and white, I can be any color I want, like especially, I can be red, I can be red in bed, I can be very red, in bed, red, in bed, I can, yeah, I, I sure can, I can be very red in bed. So where was I in my fantasy? Oh yes, oh so, so anyway, so he got, he's, oh, oh my gosh, I start, he start, I, I can't breathe, he starts, I have to, I have to swallow, swallow a lot i just <laughs> he's he's doing exactly what i told him to do how to do it i mean like he knows how to do it and he's doing exactly what i he, he's doing he's got me here and he's got me there and he's rubbing this <gasps> oh he's sucking on that oh just don't stop just don't don't stop yeah i'm coming I, i'm going i'm coming yeah i'm with you yeah i'm with you i'm with you yeah yeah i'm with you buddy just don't 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 stop oh don't stop don't stop don't stop don't stop don't stop don't stop yeah yeah oh my god well <laughs> so i got to the end of the tape there you know and i'm sorry you know i was telling you about that moment you know like we got it together and 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 the tape ended i just wanted to tell you about it but i got cut off and suddenly i realized the tape was over so i gotta be careful this time i'm gonna watch carefully 22 minutes let's see now 20 22 minutes all right so anyway so i was telling you that like you know about like getting there and 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 then get get really get to that moment you know really special. I'm not going to try and do it again because it's lost. 
It's on, it wasn't recorded. But anyway, I got to the point where I was really high and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, when I was finished, and I was sitting back thinking about it afterwards. And then, you know, I started thinking about my canary. I got a canary. And the canary also, it's like me and the canary. The canary. And like no one would guess, looking at me and my canary, me in my black and white outfit and the canary, that we have this special, special place deep down in our, I don't know if it's deep down in our hearts or our souls or our crotch or what, but like I got a real special place and I'm so glad that this guy comes along and knows how to get to that place because without him, well, without you guy, I'm just black and white, right? So like I'm really grateful that you come to me and I come with you, right? <laughs> mm, good. Oh, you know, as I tell you this story, this is Franklin speaking, as I tell you this story, I get nostalgic, because I'll tell you a secret, <laughs> that whole story about the woman, I was using a memory of somebody I know, I guess I shouldn't tell you who it is, but that actually happened, I mean, like, of course, I was the guy, but I mean, like, it really happened that way, and, you know, thinking about it makes me wonder... Maybe she misses. I, I wonder if, if maybe I should call her tonight. She's very far away, and she's very much in her box with her canary, and that's it, you know? I don't think she'd come out of her box long distance. She probably needs me to be there, and I'm here, and it's probably too late, because you know what? It was about how many years ago, that magic moment. That magic moment when the red and the ordinary come together, and the canary had something to do with it because the canary was her redness, her mishigas. I mean, like, what's this broad doing with a canary when she should have a, a life? Instead, she's got a fucking canary. In other words, she's whacked up, right? But that's what makes her interesting, that dialectical tension, you know, like the red and the right, the red and, and the gray struggling together makes her a jack-in-the-box like me, a jack-in-the-box like me. And then the jack-in-the-box opens up, and we, the spring goes, you like it, just whoop, 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 and then whoop, and then the spring goes in the wind, and that's such a trip, man, blowing in the wind together. Well, so maybe I'll call her. Hmm, too early yet. Maybe I'll call her later. <sighs> I miss that redness. I've been pretty gray lately. I've been very gray lately, very square. Where's the canary? I need a canary. I need my canary. You were my canary, and I was your canary. Thank you. So what do we get from this? What do I need? I need to be a jack-in-the-box with another jack-in-the-box with a canary, and this, the rest of it, the high notes are the canary. It's like the sting on the scorpion. It's on the end of his tail, you know. That's what makes a scorpion interesting. Otherwise, he'd be just, you know, and all that shit, which is boring. So thank God for the canary and the sting on the scorpion. Yeah, thank God for the canary and the sting on the scorpion. Thank God for the sting on the scorpion and the canary. Thank God for the sting on the scorpion and the canary. Thank God for the sting on the scorpion and the canary. Otherwise, it would be a boar, a real boar. Ch -ch -ch, a boar. Hmm. Well, so, so I'm this guy, and I'm wearing a green shirt. And I'm floating in the air, and I'm really going with it. And I'm so twisted around because my sweetie's here. She's my focus. I'm the canary. I know that I have a power to unlock canaries and canario types, which includes just about everybody. It includes you, motherfucker. I can unlock your canary. Got it? It's nice to be appreciated. I'm like a time bomb. I walk in and the clock stops. Starts going, starts, or is it stops? It's like a different time. It's like messianic time, you know? I walk in, great expectations, you know? I mean, like, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter, because I'm here. And if you don't get that message, well, then you don't matter, because I'm not here anymore. Got it? Like, here I am, sweetie. See me? See that? You can't look at anything else. 
so you must be the right one Cause you know that I know That you know that I got what I need And what you not, I got what you need And we got, and I'm in a, I'm a catalyst And, and you know there's something inexorable about me I keep going, there's something inexorable about me I just keep going, in fact that, in that respect I'm sort of like dead, I mean like I get going And it's like a, it's like a sad, you know, it's like a stereo You know, that sand that go up the river, you know, like they don't stop, you know, till they get there. And then it's like the death toll, death no, death no toll, the knell, the bell. I mean, you know, it's like, you hear it, you hear that bell, right? It's like, it's like, it's like a clock, a time bomb. But it's also like, like a church bell, you know what I mean? It's like... Like the end of the line, you get into that groove and baby, you know, it's like, you know, and you're, you're not young anymore, and you, you go together, and you know, it's like leading us down, down to the other end of the, of the existential continuum, like, 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 like we're gonna die and grow old together, and all that stuff. But, but that's nice, you, it's nice to be on that trip with somebody, and, and I miss it, cause she left. You know, she left, and I haven't found another canary yet. Maybe I never will. I mean, there were several in the past, but it's getting harder to find canaries. So anyway, so we were doing this work. So anyway, baby, look. Okay, so I see your flowers, but the flowers aren't important. What's important is me and you, and you know, it's like me and you, baby. It's like you and me, baby. It's like you and me, baby. We're gonna have a good time together, just you and me, baby. I'm like the air all over the place around here now. Well, you get the message, huh? So then she says, well... <laughs> Glad you're here, huh? I got my flowers to take care of, but, uh, and uh, I see you. In fact, I don't see anything else right now. It's like, I mean, like my feet are on the ground. My feet are on the ground, but you know, like, oh, there we go. There I go again. Oh, 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 I, I'm only one foot on the ground now. <laughs> only one foot on the ground now, I mean. Like, who's going to pay the rent with you and your nutty ideas? You'll never make a living, you schmuck. You schmuck. How dare you come to my house, you schmuck. But, 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 thank you for coming to my house, because I'm such a jack-in-the-box, and I don't know how to get out, and I'm locked in my box. So thank you, you fucking devil. Thank you for coming to my house, because I'm too much of a gray person and a white person, so... <sighs> We can be beautiful for a few moments, and then I'll have to kick you out because I gotta get get I gotta get back to work. You know, I gotta get up in the morning and go to my job. Baby, now look, I don't buy it anymore. You hear that bell? That's our bell. We're moving together this time, and this time you're not gonna throw me out, cause I'm not gonna leave. You got it. This time we will stay together because. Okay, you're right, yes, I hear you, yeah, I hear you, yeah, I'm coming, yes, yes, just don't stop, yeah, I'm coming, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you, yes, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yes, 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 don't stop, don't stop, yeah, yes, don't stop, no, no, baby, don't forget it, don't forget it, don't forget it, don't forget it, baby, don't forget it, baby, I am the one you need to get out of your box, I am the one to release you from your jack in the box, so remember that, yes, you, you understand, do you understand, do you understand, do you remember that, do you remember that, just remember what I'm telling you, and don't forget next time, when it's finished, you will... I, the goddess, have been Humped like a snow palace. It is heavy day. My silence has been the, the condition of symbolic stability. 
simple so equation, the simple same instance, order, sir. the coherent text only possible at the close the same instance, not the same, Rachel, no. the goddess. Yeah, she blows, she blows, right ahead, of continuous aye, 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 I knew it. He can't escape. Through the words, one and spittering weather spout. Other fear. Well, as she does, seeing himself as a he. Oh, you're trump. He's hearing the words, flux. They have wondering whether others hear my feet. A possible illusion. Oh, she breaches. Flux. Oh, she breaches. I breach her last bit of the sun. sun. Dick. Then she continues. The hour and the harpoon. And my Jewish soul. I all alive. My Jewish soul. Hell. Take the hell, Jewish. Sense. Stand around me, men. Free and see an old man cut down to the stomach. Leaning on a shivered lamp, propped up by a lonely pickle, his Ahab beards, his body's lost angel wings, souls a centipede. They entered tripping the light fantastic hundred one day. Heavenly synthesizer sounds. Here I break, around, and we crack, while harmlessly. until you hear that, they are noticed that the they have paused and chose his purpose Rachel yet. Continues Do you feel brave, men? Brave! Yes, feel the fire. fire. Towards the arrow, thou all destroy. Rachel continues her tirade. Well, regardless of it, but its original the profound from meaning from hell of the heart, the moon of hell refers to the delicious taste from hell's heart of the more sad and pain of the jiggling. For hate's sake, I'll surpit in my last breath at the thou. Rachel continues the title. Regardless of its original profound meaning in the philosophy world, this whole act is immutably decreed. Refers first to the leaves, takes me a billion years before this ocean will nibbling. Fool, I am the fate's lieutenant. The law represented by the phallus requires a submission to an authority. She's going to sound in stun sail, down top gallant sail, stand by the boat, hill there, luff a point. The other is steady, steady. There's a little fool, the only one already the boat's there. Stand by, stand by. Lower me, Mr. Starbuck. All four women with lots of teeth, quick, me and bold. Eat it and it's heading straight to leeward from south. Them. Right away from us. The ladies dumb man. Stand Word. by the pit. braces. Quickly. Right Our after the hill says the brace up. Shiver her. Which pits, Shiver her. pits, 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 so pits, 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 The child on the right. narcissistic investment in the Nor white will, nor, nor man. Nor against the desire. Actions to the old Ahab in his other proper and inaccessible being. All for her. And he led. All the four of the Lord from any mass of the king on the roof. Another bank. Lost their color. Which way? Up the hill, man. I want the same again. Ship keeper, soon. I love the other. Keep him there. Quick, all hands to the rigging of oil. One sex is not in the way. It's consumable. Iron, iron, hoisted oil. There is always a remaining sheet. Hell, man. Steady, steady, so it the ball. Ten times girdle the unmeasured. An encounter between the two sexes may thus leave something of a remaining in yet a resident that is irritable to their relation. Each of the ship, the hearse, the glorious ship, left and must he then perish. Oh, now I see my greatness of eyes and my topmost grief. Each examines the boat, remains left in her hand, and throws it away. I see thee again, I and thou goest before. They pick up great clusters. This then is the hearse. This untapped reservoir is what guarantees their physical alternacy to each of the other. And yet explains their interactions and the fruitfulness of their encounter. Help me, man! I wish to stand! So, so, I see him! There! And wipe off they are going to leeward still! The then the three ladies stand Hand with off from the me! The eternal sack runs up and Ahab's bones again! Spirit Set the set! Aldor's the hill! The great Leviathan! The spirit of the sea! 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 The Moments of radical subversion, of transgression, of madness, of madness, of poetry. These are the three archangels of the goddess. Madness, of glasses, of poetry, and the cup. The three ladies could be well. Honey, a gulping soul. The three ladies could be idiosyncratic. They have cherries, cherries, cherries. No flask for one red cherry here with me. The three ladies could be idiosyncratic. Can't see the spouse now, sir. Too dark. How heading, men, last seen madness as before. And we too now were holding this. Do you see him? Very see nothing, sir. Turn up all hands and they begin to develop off there. What do you see? But as they think, sir, they account for the angels. 
are the consequences of the violent repression of psychical pleasures and their subsumption of the principle of law, order, and authority, that is to say, under the law of the Father. The semiotic explodes first shot by the Hell Academy. The Hell now works herself up into a frenzy of holiness. The semiotic explodes in an excessive, uncontrolled jouissance of madness. Madness of the psychotic the fetishist who refuses the father's law and retains her semiotic pre edible maternal attachments. And this is the holiness of transgressive ecstasy. If woman has always functioned within the discourse of man, it is time for her to dislocate this within, to explode it, to turn it around, to seize it, to make it hers, taming it, taking it into her own mouth. Fighting that tongue with her very own teeth. To invent for herself a language to get inside of it. All this, of course, leaves Rachel as undisputed great lady of the ocean. I dreamed that I simply killed him in a rage. But when he actually began dying, I tried to make him well again by kisses. It was no use. I suffered such anxiety that I felt on the point of death myself, so that I awoke. So that is the way you think of him, I said to myself that night. You must forgive him everything. And you know, I have forgiven him everything. Everything. Then I fell asleep again. I went on dreaming that he actually did die. Once more I was seized by anxiety. It was certain as life, or something of that sort, that as soon as he died, I would die with him. So this is your and my end. This is the way we are dying. This is our death. <laughs> so I have killed you after all, for I am dying with you. But it was just a dream after all, and this dream belongs to the day, not to the night. What the day ultimately preserved of this dream was not a consequence or an insight, but only the tormenting question, why did I not actually kill him? I did not know what in actual life keeps me from acting that way, or rather, I know precisely, though I do not know how to name it. What's the use of day's constant gratitude for life's being understandable if the night provides an endless panorama of images, a vast web of incomprehensibility. The story of the heart of the world and the spring. There is a mountain, and on that mountain there stands a rock. The spring gushes forth from that rock. Now everything has a heart, and the world as a whole has a heart. The heart of the world is a complete form with face, hands, and feet. But even the toenail of that heart is more heart-like than any other heart. The mountain and the spring stand at one end of the world, and the heart is at the other. The heart stands facing the spring, yearning to draw near to it. 
It is filled with wild yearning and constantly cries out in its longing to approach the spring. The spring too longs for the heart. Now, if the heart is filled with so great a desire to draw near the spring, why does it not simply do so? And as soon as it begins to move towards the mountain, the mountain top where the spring emerges disappears from view, and the life of the heart flows from that spring. So if it were to allow the spring to vanish from its sight, it would die. If the heart were to die, God forbid, the entire world would be destroyed. For the heart of the world is the life of all things. How could the world exist without a heart? For this reason the heart can never approach the spring, but stands opposite, looks at it in long. What use is it to be brave and taciturn to deny the ultimate burden and profoundest unhappiness? Too proud to let even oneself share the secret. If the night reveals all, If the night refuses to keep silent, refuses to fulfill its function, and provide a dark and lulling background for the weary soul if it deceptively transforms these shadows into life's ground and native soil Rachel once again speaks directly to the audience. I dreamed that everyone had found the ideal. Then I recognized that this ideal was a living person who could not restrain his laughter. In my dream, I announced to this person, My dear sir, it is absolutely outrageous that you are so joyous today. Will you ever stop laughing? Whereupon he put his arms around me and invited me to dance. Everyone else stepped back, but that did not bother us in the least. We just danced and danced and danced. <laughs> Thank you. 